It's Beard Boy OG here, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. And in today's episode, we've got quite a massive project. This will easily be one of the longest videos to record on my channel in its entirety. Today, we are starting the End Islands Project. What is that project specifically? Well, we have one goal, and that is to cover all of the end islands in moss. I want to make it green. I want to make it as vegetated as I possibly can. You guys know me. I'm the vegetation king, if you couldn't tell. And I would love to go and just do that. Which, that is a massive project, which means we need a lot of specific items. I didn't pick up my ender chest. Okay, so for this project, I am thinking we're going to need an absolute ton of stone and dirt. Stone or dirt. It, it determines on what one you value more. So, here in this black shulker box, we already have a lot of dirt and we have a lot of cobblestone. Why? Well, you can't use moss blocks and bone meal them on endstone so we need something to put over the top of it and I thought we might as well just get a bunch of cobblestone and dirt I think this is gonna be the best thing for us entirely we're also gonna need obviously moss to bring over so we can bone meal it with some bone meal so that is basically what we have so far uh, what my plan is, is to have a couple of these Probably up to four of these full just to start out it maybe even more but I'm just gonna try to get as much stone as humanly possible for me uh, and you guys have never seen me use this on the channel <laughs> we have the elytra we <laughs> we have the rockets Ow. okay Maybe if we do that, that would work better. Okay, now that I'm at... Yeah, if I could speak some <laughs> English, I am now at my cobblestone area where I have not really been in quite a lot of time. Quite a long time. So I'm just going to spend a little bit of time, watch a couple of YouTube videos, and get as much stone as possible. I will see you guys when my sanity has died. Okay, I have returned, and I don't think we have enough yet. I just didn't want my pickaxe to be destroyed, and I tried getting as much as I could. Yes, I have 30 more, but, like, how much more are we going to get of moss? So, where did, where's the moss one? Y you'll see the moss one when we get to it. <laughs> we have our cobblestone. Where are you? Cobblestone. Yeah, I think those are the ones. Yeah, we have an entire one there, an almost entire one with a lot of moss there. So this might get us started. If not, I'll just have to head back here to the overworld. It is fine. But once we have the moss down, that's... Oh, no. I used the wrong pickaxe. Oh, no. If you got to this point of the video, obviously you enjoyed my content, so consider subscribing. We are on the goal to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I think you guys can help reach that goal. Consider liking the video, because liking always helps. And now let's get back to the video. Okay, after a quick trip to the nether, I got my ender chest back. Oh boy, I, I would have done. I wouldn't know what to do without you. Okay, so I'll meet you guys over in the end, where we're going to start getting this sucker built. I'll see you when I get there. Okay, I have returned. After a long time of... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was, I was in that cave for quite a long time, and I did grab some other stuff as well. So let me show you. So we have this just we have some moss there we where's the other one it's all over the place here oh boy I think it's this one 
No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's, uh, that one. Yeah, we, we have a lot to at least get us started. So I'm going to hop in the end and we're going to get this project on the road. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go all around these uh, outer islands here. And this is what's going to be covered up in moss. Because I have an idea for these obsidian pillars. I want to turn this into a huge kind of like mega, not maybe mega castle. But I want to put a bunch of glass, uh, tinted glass going from here on each one. Doing kind of like a purple to keep with the theme. And I just want to make the inside of this just so huge that it's going to be really cool to look at. I think this could be our, easily our end base. So, uh, let me grab the, I oop, the items here. We need the moss blocks. We're going to do those first. Once again, we're going to go through the outsides of them. I got to make sure which ones are which. Okay, so we... Yep, that one we'll need. That one we'll need. And that one. So I'm just going to move all of these up into this middle area. Because this is the area where we want everything to be anyway. So, plop. Skip up. And a little bit of pop. And <laughs> I'm going to go move this over here as well. And once that's done, we can go and start working on the big part of this project, which is really going to be what takes the longest. Uh, I'm also, like on the inside, I'm not going to keep it this. I think I'll turn it to end stone for, you know, the, the theme of it. So, do we have an empty... Yeah, there we go. We'll do this as our trying to be empty spot, so... Put that there, and I'm just gonna get rid of all of you because we aren't really gonna need most of this. Not really at all. I'll keep the arrows, but everything else, for the most part, I do not need. Because, like, my Eugene, most of that stuff in the end. So, I'm just gonna keep some of the non needed stuff up there. There we go. Yeah, that should be good. So, I'm gonna get started. Filling up this inventory with moss, and I'm going to see how far I can get with everything that we have. So, for you guys, a little bit of a time lapse. Through Time Lapse FM, let's get this thing started. Okay, I'm back after a little while of just placing blocks, about 45 minutes to an hour. And we still have some cobblestone and some moss, not much. Yeah, I realized that it had to be regular stone for it to spread with moss. So I had to go in, I had to go and I over there and smelt it all. We have a huge line of just massive amount of furnaces. And while waiting for that, I got this dirt down. It, w it did start somewhere over there, but we were able to extend it over. And then all the way over here. So, I have some additional ideas that I want to try out while working on this. So, we have our little spawn area. I want to make a little bridge that uh, ends up here. Maybe it's one that goes like that. Maybe it's one that goes like that. Whatever it's going to be, I want to have a bridge here. And on the outskirts, like down there, and maybe here if I don't extend it all the way out fully, I want to put some chorus fruit on the outside. Act like this is like the more deadish area, if you know what I mean. Where, okay, we'll put chorus fruit all the way. So over here, obviously, we're going to have more moss. But like, the more down you go, and the more lower from the top area we go the more not alive it is, is what I'm trying to figure, uh, not figure out, but want to plan out. So we'll have a bunch of chorus fruit down there. Up here, obviously all this is going to be moss. This level here, I'm not sure what's going to be yet. I know this is going to be a part of the massive uh, end castle base thing we have here. 
but I don't know what's going to go here yet. I don't know if I'm going to extend this that way or if we're just going to leave it or if we're going to go and turn it into just end stone brick. We're really going to have to find out when we get to that point. But so far, we've gotten a decent amount done on this project. And <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> yeah. I looked at him and he's like, nope, not doing that now. And I'm also marking out where the glass is going to go because some of this is going to be really close. But we got, I'd say, uh, about, not a tenth, more like a fifth of the project done. This is going to take a long time because there's still some other stuff that we can do. So we can go. I did not look at you, sir. I did not. And you guys saw that. He's just being mad to be mad. Come here. There we go. Don't know why he was being mad at me, but oh well. But, basically, there's a couple other things that we can do. So, we can go and build a moss. Uh, automa automotive, automotive, yeah. Automatic moss farm. We can go and just get a whole lot of dirt. It's just... <laughs> I seriously have a, uh, an amending shovel. So we can always do that as well and just do a couple of live streams picking that up. And then obviously we're gonna need a lot of, we can get stone, but as you can tell, this guy is not doing too hot. So yeah, but I think the dirt method and the moss method is gonna be the best method to get this done. Now, I'm going to go into spectator mode. Yes, I know. That is controversial. But I want to go and give you guys like a better idea of what I'm talking about here. Also, I need thumbnails. Okay, I think this video might be a lot longer. Because this doesn't look like an impressive thumbnail. Even though that, it was a bunch of work to get all of this down. We still need so much more. This episode's going to take... I, it's already been two days. It's going to be more. It's going to have to be. But... As you can see, what I'm doing here is that I'm trying to get this, like, second level all the way over and connect it with this ring. Once that happens, we can moss it out, and then over here at the, these little areas on the outskirts, I want to go and put a bunch of chorus fruit. Because I think that's going to be really cool on the outside. Now, the only place where it's not going to be and where it's just going to be regular moss is here this little spot here because I want to have a custom a Kate uh, azalea tree right there um, I think that's gonna look really cool right there but the first thing we have to do to get to that point is finish our ring around get the moss to spread out over here as well and then we're going to have to go and add all the chorus fruit around, which we'll need a lot, so we're going to have to farm some chorus fruit for a while. This is going to be the longest rec time to record by far, but I think it's going to be a really cool project by the time it's done. And then we can say we've completed part one. We're, we're getting there, but we need a couple other things. We also need... I want to be able to say that we've completed this part by the end of the episode, so... I might make a skeleton XP farm. Or farm skeletons. It's probably going to be at the XP farm. Not XP farm, but... A skeleton farm. Without showing you guys. I'm sorry that has to say that, but... For this episode to get done, I'm going to have to do that, and then get this going because we need a lot of bone meal either that or I'll just head to I could probably just head to the nether and get a ton of bone blocks that probably is something else I can do I'll probably do that before I do the XP farm or the skeleton farm because I do want to show that on videos if I can so I'll probably just do the bone blocks because that's gonna be a lot more feasible so I it's gonna take me a little bit
really quickly, right before we go and continue anything else, we are gonna get some of these Koros flower. Did I actually? No. <laughs> okay, I didn't make any more mad. What I'm gonna do now, I'm getting these really quickly while we're getting more sand, I am gonna get a couple of these. The coarse flowers. We're gonna need them so we can actually plant these over in our base. So, yeah. There we go. I'm going to add leaves here on the border where the dirt and the endstone meet for a little extra detail because I think this is going to look good in the end, having some kind of border in between, plus it going all the way outlining all the way over. I think we definitely have enough for this, so I think this is going to look good. Ah, oh, yes. The outer ring filled with chorus fruit is finally complete. Ah, uh, as you guys remember, I think I discussed it in the video so far, but I wanted to add chorus fruit all around the outer ring of the island just to make it look like this is the more dead area of the island. So that is one of three things that is now finished. <laughs> Okay, now we finally, after five days, real life days, not Minecraft days, of just getting materials, getting all this set up, we finally have our full moss ring around these obsidian pillars. This took so long. I am finally glad this part is over. We are almost done with the initial part of the project the next part you may be asking what is the next part of this project well it involves the obsidian pillars last time I talked I was thinking of maybe putting glass around each part and I was thinking well wouldn't that be boring and ugly so I thought how about we turn these obsidian pillars into an ender mega base castle I know it sounds insane, but but I've done enough enough insane things this week. This episode's taking way too long. But we have the outside chorus fruit. We have our little moss ring everywhere, and now it's time to finish the uh, the leaves. Also, yes, I am in peaceful mode. I'm doing that so I can show off this without getting attacked. I'm going back right now, though. I'll be back here once I got that leaves done. And finally, it is complete. We have a little bit of bamboo around the place, have that grow up. We have a little bit of true uh, custom tree action, and we have this entire ring going around with the chorus fruit around it. It is finally done. I've spent so long on the beginning half of this project. Now it's about time to get to the castle. That's going to be in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I put so much work into this project. It's coming out really, really, really well. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. So if you did, consider liking the video because liking always helps. Consider subscribing. We are on the goal to 1,000 this year, and I think we can hit that goal. 
and comment down below and castle because that is something that we're going to have in the next episode. I've been Beard Boy OG, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.